with our nato allies and partners we have trained and equipped over three hundred nearly three hundred thousand current serving members of the military the afghan national security force and many beyond that who are no longer serving add to that hundreds of thousands more afghan national defense and security forces trained over the last two decades we provided our afghan partners with all the tools let me say, emphasize all the tools training equipment of any modern military we provided advanced weaponry and we're going to continue to provide funding and equipment and we'll ensure they have the capacity to maintain their air force but most critically as i stressed in my meeting just two weeks ago with president ghani and chairman abdullah afghan leaders have to come together and drive toward a future that at the afghan people want and they deserve in our meeting i also assured ghani that u.s support for the people of afghanistan will endure we will continue to provide civilian and humanitarian assistance including speaking out for the rights of women and girls i intend to maintain our diplomatic presence in afghanistan and we are coordinating closely with our international partners in order to continue to secure the international airport and we're going to engage in a determined diplomacy to pursue peace and a peace agreement that will end this senseless violence I've asked Secretary of State Blinken and our Special Representative for Afghanistan Reconciliation to work vigorously with the parties in Afghanistan, as well as the regional and international stakeholders to support a negotiated solution.